Good afternoon my friends and thank you for coming to my uh, den where we'll share another shave. Today's shave is brought to us and as an answer to a call out by my friend Matt is uh what is this TDS uh sandalwood this is a uh, uh, soap he gifted to me a couple of years ago and I had to her hunt all over the place he kind of called me out on this last deal so I figured I would answer the call uh, and use this soap in addition I'm I'm lathering it with the as following his example I, well, I have a red brush I don't know it's, it's a red brush and to follow the red thing I I too have a uh, a red imp uh, it's been rescaled this is a case red imp um, and it's a savage. I don't get this one out very often. I've, I've got a lot of razors I don't get out often. I uh, feel kind of bad about that. Let me put this thing back under here because it doesn't good to get wet. Put a little pre-shave on here. It's just actually just rubbing a little lather. Um, the soap is really very, th it, it got, it has a pretty good headroom for water. And, uh, so I haven't quite found the optimal water level, but this looks pretty good. And I'm throwing lather all over the place. You probably hear it flatten in the sink. This is a. I'll call this a Tucson tap water temperature shave. So, it's uh, just kind of warm. That was a, in our visit to, to Arizona, that was a kind of a fun thing that we can say well you always get warm water to wash your hands with if you want to get a drink of water you have to get it out of the refrigerator so this red imp is by case it still has the bluing down here this is uh, number 133 um, made in the good old US of A I don't have a lot of whiskers because it's only been a couple of days since I've shaved So I have a few that uh, come sprouting out real quick, but then the rest of them don't catch up. Pretty good soap. It's not what I expected of a uh, of a um, sandalwood. It's a little different. Uh, as a kid, I'm going to take a couple of test passes here, guys. If you'll um, indulge me a second, this is uh, oh yeah. This is that razor I was working on my last shave I wasn't quite ready for prime time and uh, I gotta tell you she's ready now do 
We got us a Bengal tiger here. My stars. Okay. Go back to the red imp. But uh, I, as a child, I spent some time in various temples around Japan and Okinawa, and they always seemed to have sandalwood incense going. Great, huge coils is, oh, I, I don't know, as a child they seemed awful large. I think in retrospect, maybe the, the coils the incense itself might have been as big as a man's thumb or maybe a little larger and huge coils that were raised up into the rafters of the of the temples every two or three of them and uh, so the place was always being uh, But that's straight sandalwood. This is a sandalwood is in the mix. Can I recognize that scent? I've got some temple coils out in the garage. Mosquitoes don't seem to like it very much. Or maybe there's some other scents in the mosquito coils. Last time I shaved, my chin was so glass-like, uh, I didn't think anything was going to come out, but I, apparently... Just our uh, post pass slickness. Yeah. Something else. That's pretty good. TDS from the samples that we got, they were pretty good soap. It rinses real clean with my water. Um, of course, everybody's mileage varies with the water, but it rinses cleanly for me. And so that's pretty much I'm going to call it a shave because I didn't have very many whiskers in the first place. <laughs> so to review, we use TDS's uh, sandalwood. Nothing on here looks like it says TDS. Neither does it look like it says sandalwood, but that's what it is. Uh, we use primarily a uh, Case Red Imp uh, razor. It's been rescaled. And uh, did half of a pass with the Gifted Bengal. Uh, this is a uh, Sheffield Bengal. Uh, brush was a red uh, synthetic and let's see about post shaving we'll use a little uh, a Thayer's lemon 
in searching I don't think I have anything sandalwood got bay rum all over the place sandalwood it is not a place where I have explored much so instead of that gonna give ourselves another dose of the mongoose because I like me some menthol I'll be a little easier on myself this time I won't dose myself up and force my eyes shut nice chilling and it feels like I've turned into a giant mentholiptus so that's pretty much all I have for you today thank you so much for coming I'm Major Rich and you will find me at the shavingcadre.com uh, if you're seeing me there hi guys it's me again if you're seeing me on YouTube please if you're so inclined touch the like if you like it subscribe maybe even hit the uh, bell to see when I get new ones but until next shave bye bye now